Hi, I'd like to agree with Lars Anderson on a point. The back quiver is not necessarily advantageous. I've never owned a back quiver. I had one on once and I instantly disliked it. Now Lars shows us his reasons for not liking the back quiver and I have heard other archers report the same experiences. They spilt arrows from their back or they got caught in branches. But what is his alternative? Walk around with three arrows in the draw hand. <laughs> Now, I have observed a fair number of archers using back quivers having problems drawing their long arrows from a quiver high on their back or getting a bunch of arrows back in again despite them having years of experience with that quiver. This does not have to be a problem, it's mainly a question of getting the quiver into the right position as you can see here. Besides, I've also witnessed archers with side quivers spill their arrows or get caught on branches too. So why is Lars running around amongst the trees with bow and arrow in the first place? Are there any historical pictures that show us archers used to do that? No, he is just copying what he has seen in Hollywood movies, which he himself has pointed out is not a true depicturation of historic events. It might interest you to see that Lars shows us these two archers, which are only part of a pretty big tapestry, which is relatively famous. And it appears that Lars deliberately cut away the two archers above them so that you cannot see one of them actually has a back quiver. I dislike back quivers but you've got to carry your arrows somehow and you need to protect them while carrying them so I wear a side quiver. You can't walk around all day with your arrows in your hand expecting to need them any moment now. 